Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. And why wouldn't you? If you want cool hair, please keep listening. OK, so the power of shifting your parting. Yes, absolutely. If you're a man watching this or if you're a woman watching this, please pay attention because you can make your hair look fuller, thicker, and actually you can enjoy a much more full looking head of hair with just a change of your parting. So let's get started. So you will see my hair is fine texture. I've got a lot of it. I've got a, I've got a, uh, an undercut going on here with the length of my hair kind of to my shoulders, just kicking off my shoulders now. And often I am playing around with the parting of my hair to get the most fullness and thickness on the top. So I really, really like how my hair has grown out. Um, as you'll see from last December, I had some highlights put through my hair, which helps give my hair texture, but ultimately it does damage the hair. So I've stopped doing all of that now, and I used to do six months in between, and that still wasn't enough to keep the damage at bay. So what I'm kind of more exploring with now is keeping my hair ultra healthy, leaving bleaching alone, trying not to use heat styling as much at all, probably just like once or twice a week, which I would absolutely recommend, and just instead playing around with the parting and the natural characteristic of my hair. So my hair is not this straight, however it is quite straight naturally, but it has a bit of a kink in it, and that kink just makes it a little bit more a little bit more sometimes a little bit more difficult to control but actually sometimes it's a bit of a blessing because it can make fine hair appear, appear a little bit fuller now i may think what on earth is he going on about but actually my hair is more air than actually hair what you can actually see if you actually get hold of it it's not very thick at all but with the right know-how just notice a bruise where did i get that from <laughs> but with the right know-how you can actually still enjoy a really full looking head of hair so actually as you can see this is i know i haven't got the sides grown out but the back of my hair really isn't very thick at all. I get a lot of compliments and I get a lot of comments, which I absolutely thank you from the bottom of my heart about my hair looking really, really good, looking really full, looking thick. What do you need to concern yourself about for fine hair or thin hair? Well, I've suffered with hair loss before actually in 2015. So I had, I had quite a lot of loss in the front here. Um, it's never actually one side. I can't quite think now which side it is without looking in a mirror. One side never actually regained its full thickness back. So I'm really interested at trying to achieve, number one, the most healthiest uh, scalp environment for the most thickest head of hair, and that's what a lot of it was on my channel as well. I also review products for fine hair, um, and ultimately just to kind of play around and have that well, the, the best head of hair you can have style, because of course it gives great confidence as well. So ultimately let's get started. So I'm going to show you straight away. So I've just got a regular brush here, okay, so no tools. I'm just going to quickly brush through my hair, as you can see. So there's nothing, there's nothing sort of special going on about this at all so it's just hair brushed through and as you can see straight away number one tip if you're a guy watching this and you've got fine hair brushing hair back can actually give the illusion of a bit more fullness and a bit thicker hair on top as opposed to showing scalp so for me for example if i'm just to part my hair and this camera in the front here isn't actually showing it sort of fully and truly sort of how it is but my parting here okay so you can see where my highlights have kind of grown out here but it looks a bit more tighter here but my parting is actually a little bit more see-through sort of on the top here it's it's not that defined i suppose what i'm trying to say because i've got finer texture hair it looks really thick here but it's actually not it's the lighting and the camera what i've got going on here and bear in mind if you've got lighter lengths in your hair having a darker root makes your hair appear thicker as well but Changing that parting around. So as you can see, this is annoying me a little bit because my hair is at that length which is kicking in my face. But as you can see, straight away from on here, if I was busier, if I was sort of doing something and I need to get my hair out my way, what I normally do is I use just a thin band here so it's masculine, don't use anything else at all. So if I was doing that, you can see straight away that my hair sits very, very flat, very flat. And that's one of the things which I struggle with in my sort of styles as well, that my hair on top sits very flat, sort of like very almost light. My hair is very, very light. It doesn't really have any weight at all to it. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the thinnest hair because it's not. It's fine hair and I've got a lot of it. There is thinner hair out there on people, on men and women, and that is not to say that is a negative thing. Thin hair can still be really, really cool on a man and can really be beautiful on a woman. Thinning hair can be really devastating to both, but it can look really cool on a guy and it can still look really, really amazing and beautiful when styled on a lady as well. And just be happy and be 
blessed for who you are because hair doesn't make you amazing no product makes you amazing at all you already are so really try to sort of work on the core of you because hair is just hair at the end of the day um but just giving you a little bit of confidence as you can see from this here it's, it's very very flat okay so instantly if i was to brush my hair through like what i've been doing today i work from home so i work in finance so really really busy at the moment and um as you can see down passing here straight away I've lost, as you grow hair out as a man, you lose the style in the corners and that sort of style element on top. It then becomes this as a style element here. So this I really, really like. I like the slickness. I like kind of the kick at the bottom, what's happening now. That looks really, really cool. But this, yeah, not so much. So ultimately, if you watch the style and how the change of a passing can bring in so much more volume. So on the top, it really does accentuate just how fine the hair is, especially if there's sort of like a spotlight or anything. So what I ultimately do is brush my hair off to the side. Now, here's a tip here. If you brush your hair off to the opposite way your hair grows, okay, so for me, for me, it's probably this side, and this is where I go against the grain of how my hair grow grows. As you can see, I've got a few little hairs growing up through there, but can you see, sort of like, if I was to style this how I wanted it, or put a bit of product through it, or perhaps a little bit of spray, and break it up a little bit, like sort of in pieces, that type of thing, and then have it styled, can you see ultimately how much more volume, just by flipping that parting, you can achieve in your hair? And do you know what, I've worn my hair like this before, and I really, really like it, I like a little bit of product on the top there, and you can see you can get some really nice hype, just by switching up the parting. If you bring it all over, I know a lot of people wear styles like that, I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube wear their hair like that, all off to one side, and you can see the amount of volume so your hair looks super, super full, super, super thick on top. Blasting, uh, what's it called? Schwarzkraft Blasting Glued uh, Free Spray, which is my favourite spray. A little bit of that all the way through. And you know what? This holds and it looks really super good. And all we've done, bearing in mind, is just change the pattern up. There is no root lifting spray or anything in my hair. Go the opposite side. Volume. Lift. Okay. Brush it back. You haven't got as much volume, but it, it certainly brings fullness into the hair and all we've done is just brushed it back okay another tip what i want to go through as well so fine textured hair and i actually tried this because i really really liked it but it is for people with thicker heads of hair now if you take i don't know if i'll be able to do it on here if you take the top of your hair back as this is in a sort of a man style here and then sort of do do sort of like a sort of a top knot type style at the back of your head here and then leave this hair out now sadly when you've got fine hair it doesn't look as cool because it's very limp it's very flat it's non-existent really you need that support and that weight from the hair up above but sort of if you if you sort of recall this that still looks okay but always be careful how much hair if you're going to do a style like this you take up because ultimately if you start taking up the back and thinking that you're leaving enough hair down trying to do it here because I've done it earlier and it looked really really silly is just going to adjust this a moment be careful how you style your hair because the more hair you put up and you leave bits down okay if if you can see it through here you can see what's on the back of the shelf behind me if you can see through the back of the hair you're going to accentuate how fine your hair looks now all I'm doing is just adjusting again you could, we could say we're coming away from parting now and of course we're going to styling, but it's it's up here. This is meant to be all screwed up in the band, okay, which we'll just adjust that here, okay, which we've got here. Looks really good, I think. This doesn't. That looks good. This doesn't. And what I'm saying is be careful because if you show that your hair is empty at the back and you've brought too much up, you've done it perhaps a little bit quick when you've tried to copy a style for people with thicker hair, just be a little bit cautious because people with thicker hair, of course, have weight and texture in these bits of the hair. If you go out in the wind or weather or whatever, this is just going to separate, look like towels, not going to look great at all. I've made the mistake of doing it. It does not look great. Um, not quite like this, a little bit more style, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, whereas if you take the hair down at the back, okay, still leaving it up, still leaving it up, but I can't do it because I went a bit too tight. But if you, and then leave hair at the back, see if I can do it at the moment. Do it on camera is not so easy, but there we go. You can see my texture here, texture of hair here. If you do this, but then leave hair down at the back, it ultimately makes the hair look thicker if you leave hair down at the back. Not very much, but of course you can't see through it. Ultimately, it makes the hair look thicker. 
So that's another tip there. So what I'm trying to explain here is just sometimes less is more. So people can strive for so many different products. And I'm one of them sometimes for using root lifting sprays, sprays which help the hair appear and stand up fuller and thicker from the scalp. But simply just changing the parting, okay, can add just that little bit more thickness, that little bit more fullness in the hair, which ultimately can give you a little bit more confidence. And I mean, as I've just changed it, you can see the contrast between the lighter hair and the darker hair makes this hair look thicker. And if I play around with this a little bit, I can achieve much more thickness, much more fullness. Whereas if we go back to the parting, the centre parting, straight away, you've kind of killed that fullness. Okay, so I'll just pop this at the back here as well. You've killed that fullness. And then as you see, the thickness goes from here and it starts to go here. And if you've got bleach in the hair like I have, it tends to go a bit puffy. So then ultimately what you're doing is you're, you're kind of taking the illusion of having the weight and the thickness here, moving it to here. And of course, is that what you're going for? It's certainly not what I'm going for. So basically what I'm just trying to show you is that just through the simple change of your hair parting, you can really accentuate the thickener. <laughs> What am I trying to say? You can really accentuate a thicker looking head of hair rather than if you've got fine hair, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to shout to the rest of the world that you've got it. If you want to, that's absolutely fine. Bearing in mind, fine thinning hair is still really, really amazing and can still be ultimately cool on, on a guy and can still be beautiful on a woman as well. But that is just my tips there on how to change your parting around. So last thing as well, which I just want to cover, sometimes leave the comb, leave the brush alone. Sometimes to get a much more fuller head of hair, okay, when you're putting your hair back as a guy, the easiest way is to run your fingers through it, okay? And when you're doing that, not to use a comb, because like that, if you use a comb, if you use a brush, it makes the hair really, really sleek. And again, you're accentuating how fine your hair is. So when I'm doing that, or if I'm doing sort of like uh, a top knot sort of style, or like a, some people call it a man bun, I really don't like that. So I've got that in the back here. And then don't do it like as it's a feminine style, but just pull it out ever so slightly. You've, you've roughly gone back with your hands here. Okay, so you've got that little bit of thickness, that little bit of texture going on here. And ultimately your hair looks much more fuller. And do you know what? That looks really cool. And I've the pieces come down. That's what you get with fine hair. So you have to be a bit tactile. tactile what kind of products you use to keep it up? But for me, yeah, that looks really, really good. Whereas if I was to use that as a brush, and I'll just quickly show you. So if I just brush that back. I do find that straight away, as you can see, it makes the hair so much flatter. And of course, I know I'm smoothing it down. But then, of course, I've brushed all the texture out of it now. And then when I just put this back in a band, you'll see straight away that just by those small few changes, my hair looks so much less than actually the texture of what we've got here. So just a few small changes like moving the parting around in your hair or going a little bit more natural, styling your hair with your hands rather than brushes and combs really does make a huge difference. And of course, going with your natural texture also. So not necessarily using a straight liner. I know I've done that today. And of course, that doesn't help fine hair. Just be careful of that. Try and use it sort of less if possible and go with your natural texture because of course that helps the fullness and thickness in your hair as well. Ultimately, what we were talking about today is the parting in your hair. And as you can see, as I've done it so many times, moving that parting around ultimately really, really improves your hair. I really hope you've enjoyed this clip today. I certainly have. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.